Vintage she brand new phone High heels on cobblestone When you are young they assume you know nothing It's, it's vintage. It's vintage, darling. This has been great, talking about cardigans. Hi, I'm Niall Horan and this is my life in cardigans with Cosmo UK. Wow, um, that cardigan is probably 2011, 12 maybe, max. I went through a phase of wearing a lot of just monotone, kind of just boring coloured cardigans for uh, a very long time around those years um, with polo shirts and we just recycle them for different colours, just swap them out for different colours for every single performance that we did. <laughs> I know it looks like I was styling myself, but I wasn't. No offence to anyone involved. <laughs> I'm not actually sure where this was. Um, it's around the same period. That looks like an X Factor performance or when we'd gone back. Again, there's me wearing a very similar cardigan to the first one in a different colour. That was the level of coordination we were up to. He's got a red like handkerchief in his jacket pocket and I wore a red cardigan. That's a different level. Yeah, here's another one, kind of a woolen, kind of cardigan -y jacket thing. Um, that is me, very early in the morning, looking very tired, in clearly what is an autumnal looking outfit, um, going into Capital FM in Leicester Square. Um, and yeah, that's, an, that's another version of the types of cardigans that I like to wear. I threw it out straight away. <laughs> This is more of like a shirty type one. Um, button up, navy coloured obviously. Again, coming out of Capital FM, probably within five or six weeks of each other, them two pictures. Um, very early morning, looking tired as per usual. But yeah, I, uh, this is one, I'm wearing a vest in this one, like I am today. Um, that's kind of made its way into the look, I guess, this outfit's a bit more like 50s kind of vibe, and that's where I kind of get a bit of the, the inspiration from, I guess. Um, I like that back then they were wearing kind of like vests with most things, so this is where that, this is where that kicked off. That picture is taken in my dressing room with a voice on a disposable camera. I clearly am just about, just arriving to work or just leaving, because I've got my bag on. <laughs> uh, that cardigan is a brand called Corridor. Um, and yeah, they do they do good cardigans, all different types of material. Um, this one's a bit more heavy duty. They always put like different patchwork, different kind of embroidered bits on them. Um, yeah, I like that. That's one of my favourites. That hasn't got thrown out yet. <laughs> I own too many cardigans. Um, I probably have about thirty or forty, maybe. That is a vintage one that I got in LA. Uh, that's a picture of me on in the tube station, clearly, in uh, West London somewhere. Um, heading out for lunch, I probably was that day. Uh, yeah, that's I got like this. That one's got a hole in the sleeve because it's vintage and it's, it's. I think it's from like the 60s or something. It's old, um, and everyone keeps telling me you've got a hole in your sleeve when I wear it. I'm like, I know, it's it's vintage. It's vintage, darling. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I wear that one. I wear quite a bit because it's it's navy. I like navy. Yeah, that's when I'm going for more of a plainer look. I wear that one. That's another one of the corridor ones. There's me asleep in bed and Lewis Capaldi wearing a onesie with my face on it. That's one that I was wearing a lot last summer. I got it in a fitting for work and stole it. Yeah, it's just nice when you can something stands out. Cardigans can be quite are notoriously quite boring and have become a staple now in people's closets where they probably be based on pattern like they did back in back in the day. Um, yeah, I like that one. That one's that one stuck around as well. That's in that's in the rotation. That's me at the voice wearing a green body cardigan. It's like kind of crocheted and, and got like holes in it. That's probably my favourite. But I find that when I wear something and then I'm on TV and then I wear it again. People are like, he's wearing the same thing twice. He's not a real pop star. <laughs> this one is an awful cardigan. This is me styling myself in 2017, 18 maybe. It was at a radio show in America. 
it's kind of got like an aztec -y kind of vibe going on. Um, I'm not sure if it suits me. <laughs> um, yeah, you do. We, I do a lot of those like, I do a lot of like radio shows in the States around Christmas and it's like always freezing wherever you go. So cardigans do make an appearance. That one, that didn't last the test of time for obvious reasons. Vintage she, brand new phone, high heels on, cobblestone. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. And when I felt like I was in no cardigan under someone's bed. Banger. If I was a cardigan, I would be... <sighs> kind of like that navy one previously. I would be a bit like that, but it would have a bit more patchwork in it. I'd have a bit more personality. I wouldn't be as plain as that. I'd, ha I'd be a personality-driven, embroidered cardigan. <laughs> this has been great, talking about cardigans. I obviously don't know enough about them. Well, thank you for watching. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like cardigans. I'll see you soon.